Hello and welcome, it's Rufamonger again with a new video for the Kensei. This guide is going to go beyond just the basics to detail some of the more advanced tips and tricks of the class. Now, first up, I do want to quickly mention for a dueling sense that for one, uh, your best move by a mile is your top light. It's your fastest move and it's made all the more important by the fact that Kensei has the slowest side light attack in the game of any class, even more than Shigoki. So top light is where your bread is buttered and you can make it the backbone of your offense but, and use it to knock people out of their moves on startup. Uh, with that positive note, however, keep in mind unlike the other classes with a dashing attack, if you dash attack and it is blocked by the opponent, they will get a free guard break on you which is 100% untackable. It's not particularly fair, but that's the way it currently is, so please keep in mind. So with that out of the way, let's start with the layers of the unblockable mix-up. Now, to stop the unblockable hit from the Kensei, you can just hit them out of it, and doubly so if the foe has a side dashing attack. Now, I know at the moment this is fairly basic, but we can move on to the next layer of thought here, where the Kensei can cancel their top heavy unblockable into an armored side heavy attack, which can beat any move if the opponent is trying to beat or hit you through your top heavy unblockable. Now, that was a fairly simple thought process, but the more dangerous opponents are the ones who will stand their ground and attempt to parry either the top or side cancel hit. The animation is slow enough that even a side cancel uh, could be caught on time, especially if they're expecting it. Now, the easy, proper way to get around that is say to feign cancel either top unblockable or the side cancel heavy, but let's get a, more, a little more interesting with that with some undocumented features of the class. So first up, one undocumented thing that is not in the move list is that you can in fact dash cancel out of the startup of the top heavy unlock unblockable. You can dash in any direction, use any dashing attack or dash forward guard break. So I have a quick example here of an in-match uh, use of this. It is uh, the first time I've done this against the opponent and they obviously did not expect this to happen. They were previously trained to stand the ground and parry or wait for the attempt of the feint. And so the dash for guard break catches them completely unawares. Now, next attempt, they are prepared to do the guard break, and they get successfully do so. And on the third attempt, uh, once the guard break is now established in their mind, they fall for a simple dash forward light attack. So once again, this is kind of the layers upon layers. Now, next up is an undocumented technique that you could call a glitch. What is happening here is you are cancelling the top heavy into the side heavy for a second rep of the top heavy unblockable, which is perfect for throwing off parry timings. This can end in either a top or side heavy, and can be repeated as many times as you have the stamina. It's quite difficult to do, and you may very well need to practice it quite a bit before you get it, as the speed of you need to pull it off at correctly is not much slower than mashing. Now, moving on, this next technique drastically improves the usefulness of the zone attack in the duel. This uses the form of the unlocking technique, so what you want to do is at the same moment you perform your zone attack, immediately hold to your left and unlock your targeting from your opponent. This will result in the zone attack hitting much, much earlier than it normally does, as you use the hitbox of the blade that normally cannot hit an opponent that is standing in front of them. Always be sure to cancel it after the first hit, as you do not want to be locked in the animation, but this is a way to make real use of the zone attack in a one-on-one -on -one situation and the armor it provides you. Now the final undocumented technique I wish to show you is that the Kensei has a dodging counter somewhat similar to the assassin classes. For this to work you will still need to be guarding in the correct direction and you'll dash in any direction. It doesn't matter if they are attacking left and you're dodging right and you'll effectively parry the move. It also stops heavy attack chains dead in their tracks. Now, as you can see here, if you dash forward into your foe, you can actually get a guaranteed guard break that cannot be teched in any way, shape, or form. However, to properly maximize this technique, you will always have to be dashing into your foe. As a side dash, you don't really get anything guaranteed at all. So in closing, I hope all this techniques helped you out. Uh, I do think Kensei is currently one of the weaker classes, but with this knowledge, hopefully you can put that to good use and help up your Kensei game. So remember to go out and fight for honor.